video arul we will talk about the the final day the day of the inauguration i believe this was around 25th february that uh, the national war memorial came to be inaugurated by the prime minister narendra modi would you recall that day well uh, it was um, very memorable in the sense that you know a memorial which is supposed to come years ago thanks to the prime minister modi which that we finally got a war memorial and uh, he came himself and we were fortunate to you meet. were invited you were yeah, present yeah I, i was invited okay and uh, there were very few invitees for the function i don't know why but the limited people who came uh, of course uh, it uh, the prime minister met people involved including me and uh, congratulated all of us and uh, were you introduced to the prime yeah, minister yeah i was in introduced to the prime who minister who all were introduced they were the key, key pe people like the project in charge and um, the architect okay myself uh, the scul sculptor and okay. things like that uh, very few persons very few was uh, raksha mantri and service chiefs were yeah, there yeah they were sir they chiefs, were there yeah. so that must have been a very sort of historical and emotionally important day yeah. sentiments connected with your work and yeah. apart from the fact that the nation was uh, clamoring for yeah. uh, a place like this for decades uh, did uh, the prime minister make a speech uh, yes it was uh, not tech, no not there he made a speech in the national stadium i think okay. he went to meet the veterans there but um, there was no speech given okay you just came and uh, the inauguration was done they had a puja ceremony and thing like that and, and when did you come to know that your name is uh, sort of not going to figure in that uh, that day of inauguration i went to see the stone which had my name early, a day earlier it was removed on oh. the inauguration so this uh, sort of disappointment and shock uh, dawned on you and you came to know on the day of the inauguration yeah i just went to have a look because just in front of the the plate inaugural plate prime minister signed the budgeter's book and uh, then i just looked back and i found the whole thing has been changed so okay. i didn't feel bad in the sense that you know i said things like this happen and uh, i didn't feel very bad except that i did approach the army chief about it and he said i'll do something but unfortunately nothing could be done who was the army chief then uh, i spoke to the late general rawat bipin rawat bipin rawat and uh, then of course later was uh, did he share your uh, disappointment well he uh, he said i look into it huh? uh, it's a very minor issue nothing to worry then it was his wife madolika yeah who actually said that uh, why don't you since people don't know you have done it why don't you bring out a catalog of your work to be sold in the gift shop they uh, in uh, the national war memorial where people come and buy souvenirs from the so there I, a catalog is bought out with through her help and i think i got it here uh, these two catalog which are sell no selling in the memorial uh, arul but tell me one thing uh, anybody who has not taken this catalog Uh, who's not privy or is not access to this copy of this by going around the national war memorial he would not know that a person by the name of arul raj spent more than a year translating his paintings being converted into sculpture and uh, you know stone and bronze is that correct absolutely because your name does not figure not anywhere figure anywhere and uh... so i don't know when it's going to come but what about this uh, i'm very sure a few people who see uh, seen it seen the work in the catalog will know who's done it and uh, so that's a sad part of it the catalog does mention it does mention in fact it was madolika rawat who initiated the whole thing who okay. unfortunately died in the crash uh. now another thing uh, this inauguration of the national war memorial i believe uh, the Balakot strike was somewhere very close to it. It was the very night they went in. Same night. Same night. Yeah. In fact, uh, the, the prime minister's uh, inauguration was delayed by almost forty-five minutes because there was all the activity going on before the strike. Oh, the uh, 
you know, planning and orders, etc., details for the strike must have been on. It is also spoken, and I've heard it, that uh, a plane and aircraft was to be used for the event, uh, you know, to bring down those rose petals and all, but it did not take place yeah. because of the operation. Uh, was there, there some yeah, talk there, like there, this? There was a fighter formation to fly over us, but that didn't turn up and they were all there for the rehearsals, but never turned up on the final day. So we wondered what is happening and this probably the Balakot strike is what could have, you know, de deployed the aircraft elsewhere. A personal note, uh, what do your family members feel about your contribution for the National War Memorial? Are they happy about it? Oh, yeah. Are they proud of you? Yeah, naturally. Well, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Rightly so. Thanks a lot, Arul. Thank we would you. talk something more in video number four.